so here I am again. Um, I got a wheel wheelbarrow full of sand. Found a couple of pieces of pottery in the meantime. I did not uh, save those pieces to show you. I have a collection underneath the bird feeder tree. Okay, so here we go. I put some sand in the bottom of the big pot. Now I tried it once and it was a little too much so I took some out. And now I'm going to fit the other pot inside. And, yep, that's going to be hard to... <laughs> it would be nice if I had equipment that would show this better or somebody to hold the camera, wouldn't it? Which uh, isn't going to happen anytime soon in my world. Let's see. Wow. Well, I can try to do this. So, let's see. Uh, big pot. Smaller pot. Now, I wanted an 18 and a 14 inch, but uh, the uh, Home Depot Gallup didn't have an 18 inch, so I was only able to get a 16. So, okay, so I have the two pots together now. This is the, um, like a drip tray. And I'm using it for the lid on the top one. But while I'm filling the outside edges with sand, I'm going to leave it on top so I, so I don't dirty up the inside pot because I already washed it and dried it. So now I'm going to fill. And so I'm using my little shovel. And I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to need both hands so I can't keep talking to you. I'll do a couple of shovelfuls like this so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, I'm filling the hole with sand. I'll be back. Okay, it's foo, but obviously I got it in the bottom, so I'm going to have to be creative to get that out. Um, and I'm going to have to clean up out here, a little clean up on the outside. Um, but sand is, sand's normal in which well. And uh, I think this is going to work fabulously. I don't have a big need for refrigeration. But it's nice to have vegetables last more than three days, which is pretty common when you get it from the grocery store. And I don't have a way to grow stuff enough. Well, I don't have a way to grow enough food here yet to uh, have fresh food. It's a hard area to grow things in. But this will be a good start. I don't know what I'm showing you. <laughs> I'm, I'm cleaning up around the area with my foot. And okay, so now let me clean up the inside and then we'll water it down and uh, load it up with the vegetables I got from yesterday. Some lettuce, some tomatoes, cucumbers. All right, but they're in a cooler right now with ice just because uh, the car was hot and uh, this wasn't ready yet. So talk to you in a few minutes. So here's the new thing. I'm trying to figure out how to get the dirt out of the bottom. And so I've decided what I'm going to try to do is use a, uh, a putty knife and try to lift it out because they ain't getting sand out of this. So if you make one of these, cover the top of that thing better before you start so you don't have to dig the sand out. This is hard to do. Okay, that works pretty good with the putty knife. You could lift the little fine sand out pretty good. But now I'm going to go get a wet rag and see if I can get the rest um, out, uh, the, the little granules out of the bottom. Ozzy came out to be with me, and it's cl clouded over, which is kind of nice. That means it's not as hot as it has been the last few days. Okay, be back. Okay, so a dry rag, and then a wet rag, and it's all clean in the bottom again. And next, I've got to get find my little watering can so we can start adding water to the edges. Here we go. So I found my little watering can. It's going to take quite a few of these the first time. And uh, so all I'm going to do... Wow, this is hard to do with this. Filming with a tablet. This is fun. Okay, so I'm just... I think you can see it. Just running the water along the edge like this. Now in the future, what I'm trying to do is get the sand all good and wet so that the pots start to show that they're damp and then the evaporation of the water in the sand 
keeps the temperature between the pots about, oh, I don't know, 20 degrees cooler than the, the air outside or something like that. It's cooler. Um, you know, it's the principle, I heard somebody um, describe it one time, that evaporative stuff. It's the principle of, like, when you get in a swimming pool and uh, you're all nice and wet and it's a really hot day and you get out, you get so cold. You know how that feels. Maybe you know how that feels. Um, and if that's what this is all about. Or it's the same thing as like when we lived in, or when I was visiting in Panama and uh, some of the southern parts of Costa Rica. It's very warm there, so you wear linen clothes and the linen wicks your sweat away from your body, but as the sweat dries, you know, in your clothes, or if it's really, really hot, you um, dunk your shirt and then put it back on or dump cold water on your shirt. And as it dries, your um, that water just cools you down tremendously. And that's, that's how um, people who live in very warm climates stay cool. Um, sometimes we even made shade out of cotton sheets and we would wet the sheets first and then hang them up. And as the, uh, as they were hanging and the air and the wind would, you know, blow over, it would, uh, it would keep you cooler. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to keep doing this until the pots start to look damp and the dampness on the insides where I've, you know, spilled the water, but, um, I'm just working on it. It's going to take a while to do this. There's quite a bit of sand here. And then in the future, um, I want to put some decorative stone on the very top. One, it'll keep the sand in one place. Two, it'll look beautiful. And um, eventually my, my food will go in the center. But first I go, got to finish this. <laughs> I feel funny teaching you guys and trying to film and not knowing if you can even see what I'm doing. But... Uh, uh, you wanted more of these kind of videos, so here you go. Or, or here's one for somebody who asked for it anyways. And, uh, yeah, you get me in my crazy hat. Well, it's not that crazy. <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm just going to keep wetting this, and then I'll show you the finished product uh, when I get a little more done. Later. Hi again. I'm starting to see the water seeping into the pot. So let's see if I can show you that. See the dark color is not coming from the outside. That's coming from the pot is getting damp from the sand on the inside. That's what's going to keep things cool. Now, I don't think that this would um, translate very well to nomadic living. Although, um, because sand is heavy, the pots are heavy. Although, if you were doing it on a small scale for just a very small amount of um, things, you know, a few tomatoes, a couple of cucumbers, something like that. So you were using even smaller pots. I could see the potential if you had room to keep it. Um, but it is a little heavy, so you'd have to be careful. I've always often thought, because uh, I, I'm allergic to propane, so even with my RV and off-grid situation, I cannot use propane, and I do not. Um, uh, so... I can't have like a propane refrigerator or something and where I live it's very warm so uh, this will work better in a in a warm climate than it would in you know a, a rainforest it might be a little difficult to make this work but clay does stay cooler the inside of clay does stay cooler so I think it's useful um, and I think that you could translate it in some form into a nomadic, you know, like a van dweller situation, if you were doing it right. I had often thought, way back when, when I first had my van and I was thinking that I wanted more space and I didn't want to only live in the van, um, I had wanted an SUV and a scamp trailer. And because I don't use propane, I had thought, I bet I could put one of these on the tongue of the trailer where propane tanks would have lived because um, maybe not one this big around but it wouldn't weigh much more than a, pro a tank of propane does um, and because 
it would be cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, I still think it's possible and maybe someday I'll try that out. But for now, this one's going to be on my property in the outdoor kitchen and hopefully this will help me be able to i live 40 miles from town in an off-grid situation and, well i i say i live i'm when i'm here <laughs> um and so hopefully this will help because the grocery stores close to me are not that fabulous as far as produce and stuff go um we i just found one in zuni that's way better but um down in st john's um, oh, it's horribly expensive. Uh, a carton of like almond milk that at Walmart would be priced at like two sixty nine or two ninety nine or maybe even three dollars at the St. John's Market is six ninety nine. And so I'm not buying. Of course, I don't buy almond milk, but I priced it as as a as to you know be able to talk about it. And um, I just. I have to find ways to do this on my income um, and I'm now buying my groceries again because uh, one I changed my diet and um, and you know I'm almost out of debt so I can afford to start taking care of myself better and stop getting those freebies from the food pantry and let somebody else who's more needy do that so um, I'm going to keep watering it's it's coming along real nice. I'll show you again. It's coming along really nice. But I'm going to go get some more water. And uh, yes, I have to haul water. I have to do a lot of things. But we're talking about my refrigeration. My my new little cooler thing. So um, I want to stay focused on that. Talk to you soon. The smells of lovely wet clay. I, I, to me, it's a good smell. You know, I was an artist when I was younger. And when I was in the art studios, um, there was a lot of pottery and things being made in the, and I love that smell. It's a very, very lovely smell. I could tell one thing that I want to tell you guys about these pots, um, is that it, this particular, no, the, <laughs> there is no other particular style. I started to say this particular style. Um, I think it would be wise to let the inside pot be an inch taller than the other one, than the outside pot. It's a little, um, it's a little too easy to slip with the water and have the, um, have an overflow and have it go down inside the pot. Now mine is raised a little bit, uh, but mine's maybe only, I don't know if mine's even, maybe a quarter of an inch taller the inside pot taller than the outside pot I would not if I was you and you were wanting to do this I would not make the inside one shorter than the than the outside pot which I've heard people say oh make it an inch shorter and make it down inside yeah I'm not so I don't think that's a good idea I'll let you know as it goes along as it works but the pots are getting really wet and I'm gonna go get my groceries from yesterday out of the cooler <laughs> and uh, I don't generally use coolers but I happen to have one somebody swapped me something for a cooler and uh, so for traveling back and forth from the grocery store um, this time I used it and I bought some ice this time I don't like to buy ice I'm cheap thrifty I'm thrifty okay so I'm back from the car and uh, I'm still adding water I just love the smell of this wet clay I wanted to be a potter when I was like 16 or something. I was painting <laughs> at the time I was doing a lot of oil painting and um, I really wanted to make pottery instead. Uh, but I knew it was an expensive craft and bet both between my family and the ability for me to get little side jobs as uh, as a babysitter, I didn't know how I was going to be able to afford to become a potter, so that didn't happen. And I apologize, I'm going to be stepping in and out of the frame. I, right now, I don't have another way to do the, the tablet, so, and I am filming with a tablet. So, because of the clay smell, I'm going to go ahead and leave the... I need to get some uh, fabric... Um, 
produce bags. Cucumbers. Cucumbers are going in. But I'm going to leave them in the little uh, produce bag from the store and just put them in. Let's see if I can fit this a little bit. I don't know if you can. We'll see what we can do with it. Oh, okay, can't hold the bag. Can't do it that way. There we go. All right, so I'm putting cucumbers down in. There's, it's, I got four pretty big cucumbers. Can you see? It's, it's a good size. You know, this is a good size little thing. Little thing. <laughs> Did that come out in English? All right, and here's a package, uh, you know, a one pound package of carrots. It fits down in there. See, they fit really nice. Fit really nicely. This is going to be nice because, because I am limited by the mileage um, of going to the grocery store here. Both the mileage, the expense, you know, the distance, everything. Okay, grape tomatoes, yum. Going right in the bottom, in their little plastic thingies. See, there's quite a bit of space. I got quite a lot of space here. I keep bumping my head on this tree, though. I hate to cut all my trees. So, I, I'm keeping as much of this as possible. It has been... Um, we had trimmed it, and some of the trimming was just snapping some branches. So... I, I hope you're getting some of this, but... Uh, the big thing is, is look, there's room in here. And so now I'm putting in, I got, I got a yellow pepper that was turning a good color. But I'm going to take it out of the bag and put it in, put it in with the, my um, cucumbers to save space. And because I really don't want that much plastic in there. I'm not a lover of plastic. Um, years ago when I was in Costa Rica, I think I lived two solid years plastic free. There's a lady online that does plastic free. I forgot her name. Beth Terry or something. Does a plastic, my plastic free life or something. And uh, I, she started after me. <laughs> but I'd done it for two years down there. It's easier in a third world country than it is here. There's other ways to do things. And um, like <laughs> I had what I called nature's plastic. There's these trees in Costa Rica. Okay, my romaine lettuce going down in. And there's still space. So let's see if there's space for... I got a, a head of um, just leaf lettuce, too. And um, so that's all the vegetables. Now, that's... I didn't put any drinks in here. I'm not a big... I don't buy, you know, drinks and bottles and stuff like that. I usually make stuff. But um, look... All that stuff, wait, can you see it? All that stuff made it in. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good haul. <laughs> and um, I'm messing with the plastic bags while you look at the tree. And now let's put the lid on. And then I'm going to dampen the lid too. Um, the lid would, I think, normally... Whoops, you can't see what I'm doing. Well, what am I doing? For, forgive my... You know, I'm not a professional here. So I'm putting, I'm choosing to put the lid this direction for now. We'll see how it works. I don't think anything can get in there. I think it's strong enough. If I need to, I can put a rock or a, something on top if I'm starting to feel like the animals are trying to get in it. Uh, I'm choosing to just water this a little so it can provide some evaporative cooling as well. And uh, I need to go put more I need to continue to water this a little bit longer, but we've got wa um, damp clay almost to the bottom of the pot. Yay! And uh, like I said, I'm going to put decorative uh, rocks, sand, not sand, but decorative pebbles in the space between the two pots so that it looks better and so the sand doesn't move around so much. But um, there's my refrigerator. Hoo-hoo! Cooler. Evaporative cooler. Whatever you want to call it. And... Um, I, I hope you can manage this uh, this uh, video, this style. Eventually, I'll get better at this. It's not that I'm bad at it. <laughs> all right. You guys have a great day. And uh, leave me comments, questions, subscribe, do all that stuff. As Rob from uh, 
a uh, little house on the road says uh, be sure to subscribe <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to joke with him one day